is up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first episode. Take three second, but first episode of the Honda Fit Build Series. This is where I take my daily driver 2011 Honda Fit Sport and turn it into the ultimate daily driving machine. We have parts from Hybrid Racing, Seb's Garage, HPS, NRG, Momo, JDM accessories. Bro, this is going to be the coolest Honda Fit build that I, I think this is probably like my favorite build that I've done because it's a daily driver. I'm not putting a case swap in it. I'm not going crazy. I like you, man. You lie a lot. I'm just doing basic bolt-on things to make it sound good, look good, and perform good. That's all we're doing. So with this being the first episode, we're gonna focus a little bit on the interior for the next maybe two, maybe three episodes? Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. But today's episode, we're doing the steering wheel replacement. If you've never replaced the steering wheel on any of your Hondas, if you own a Honda or anything like that, hopefully this video will point you and guide you in the right direction. Here is all the parts that we're gonna be selling on the cars today. We have a Volante Momo steering wheel, 320 millimeters. That's like my favorite. We have a steering solutions cruise control bracket because I do plan on retaining my cruise control. We have quick release right here and we have our short hub right here. So we have everything we needed to do this install. So let's get into it. So here is my 2011 Honda Fit Sports. We got the 5% tint so you can see up in my window. These don't understand me because I'm boss hog on candy. Boss. So let's step inside the daily driver, my friend. This is pretty much what we're working with, stock steering wheel. This is like very similar to the 8th gen Civic. It looks like an 8th gen Civic wheel because that's probably because it is. Honda is smart in a sense where like they don't make a lot of new parts for like the generation of Honda you buy. Like this Honda steering wheel is similar to uh, the 06 to 11 Honda Civic. It's just cool how Honda does that. But we're actually gonna be removing all of this stuff today. So all this right here, this clapness, we're gonna be transforming the interior today and I'm so excited and I get to keep my cruise control this is essential I think having cruise control is top tier just top tier anything being able to go on a highway and just put the car in cruise control and just vibe bro it, it's chef's kiss so if you never remove the steering wheel we have a couple T I think 25 or 227 bolts you have one right here and one on the corresponding other side we're gonna go ahead and remove that but I think what we should do first is disconnect the battery because uh, yeah we don't want the airbags blowing our asses up Ooh, look at that beautiful case swap amazing so we're gonna go ahead and take a 10 mil remove the negative terminal and then we'll be good to go with removing bits and pieces from the interior so we don't have the airbag deploying and uh, yeah, sending us to the hospital. I'm a mechanic. Yeah, it's always a plus when it's not stripped. Always a plus. Oh, it's best to use hand tools too, because you don't gotta worry about stripping anything in comparison to like using power tools and stuff. We're just so spoiled by power tools this generation. It's so the best. Two for two, baby. Two for two. See that right there? Yeah. She getting loose, mama. Hey, mama, she getting loose. She finna go start twerking in the club. I'm sweating like Django. It's hot. Now that both two Torx bolts are loosened, here we go, baby. Here we go. So what we gotta do right now is remove this little ground piece right here. Come on, come on, give me, some, give me some sugar. We gotta go ahead and remove this SRS uh, airbag thing, little yellow majig right here, this Type R yellow thing. And then we gotta remove the Wakanda black ground. And once we remove that too, we should be good. Then we gotta unbolt it from here. And then, like I said, we either have the 19 or 17. Boy, was I wrong. That is actually a 14 millimeter. I don't know why I thought that was a 19. It's the heat, bro, it's the heat. Now it looks like a 17 to me, and then we just gotta bring the steering wheel off. And once we get that part done, then we gotta shift focus on getting the um, cruise control removed as well. So I found it is actually easier just to remove it from this right here. <laughs> just super simple, just plug, remove it. Pressing in a little uh, clip holder majig, removing it, and then now we're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that right there. Cruise control. Almost ready to roll, baby. Actually, it is ready to roll. To my surprise, it is actually 
a 14. That's crazy. I didn't know they made them 14s. That is a lie. I do now remember when I did the steering wheel on the Civic, it is indeed a 14 millimeter. That is right. Now we gotta beat this thing. We gotta beat it off. Pause. pause. Big pause. pause. Wow, that was simple. Now it's time to remove our cruise control bracket. So once you have all the screws removed, the backing plate of this steering wheel comes off, and now we're exposed to the screws that hold in our cruise controls. With this screw removed and this screw removed, we should be able to pop this cruise control bracket out in a sense where, there we go. And at last, we have our cruise control module ready to roll. So this steering wheel, it's been real, my friend. I'm gonna miss you, take good care of the trash for me. And I'ma holla at, well actually, this thing was not in that bad condition. Maybe I can sell this John. I don't know who's gonna buy it, but maybe I can sell it or something. I don't know, bro, hey. I don't know. Here is the beautiful steering solutions cruise control bracket. If you have, let's say, like what I have, which is an 8th gen Civic, and you want to retain your audio controls, they'll send you the same bracket, but then they'll have this stuff mounted over here. So it'd be like a double-sided bracket with this in the middle, obviously. This is where your steering wheel goes like that, and then you have your cruise control, and then on the other side right here, you'd have your audio controls. But luckily for me, and luckily that the fit is just an awesome ass car, we just only need this bracket. So it saves you actually some money as well. And we have all the hardware that Steering Solutions provide you. We have a couple bolts, a couple washers, spacer majigs, because we gotta get this thing flushed. And it, as you can tell how the, um, the mounting <laughs> bracket thing placeholders is, uh, it's offset a lot, so with everything they provide us, we should have that thing nice and pretty. Bracket is attached, and how I did it is, if you can see, I have the rubber uh, gasket that they provide you only on one, which is the top one, and the bottom one doesn't need it. All you have to do is just put a washer and the nut supply to you, so I did a washer on the bolt, and I did a washer on the back side, so two washers, and then the nut from the bottom, and then two washers, and the gasket on the top, and then here is our fitment. Perfect. Now we have everything situated for the steering control bracket. Now it is time to start the process of getting on the short hub, the quick release, and the steering wheel, which is where NRG comes into play. So this right here is, I believe, our short hub, along with our SRS resistors, so we don't have to have a airbag light on our cluster, because that sucks. Ba -da -ba -ba -da, I'm loving it. Here's our short hub, and I believe our resistors are right there. Yes, indeedy. We got our resistors that plugs into this right here. The small holes on the bottom, that's where these four pins plug into, and just like that. Now our SRS airbag light is not a problem. So it should look somewhat like this. Tuck the wires from back there in that little pocket Sear Solutions provide. Run it through the inside of the wheel hub itself and then you can plug it in, run your horn stuff, but basically you want it like this. It should work when you put the, the steering wheel on, like the wire should flatten out against the, uh, the hub itself when you have everything mounted on, but in hindsight, if you're following along this video, doing this on your fit, it should look somewhat like this. Went ahead and unboxed my quick release, and to my surprise, we have hardware, which is awesome. We have hardware to mount the quick release to the shore hub and have the grounding rings right here. Oh, this is, this is awesome, yes. Unfortunately, I still have to get hardware to mount the steering wheel to this, but in order to get everything situated, but to progress from where I'm at right now, I do have the hardware needed to mount up the short hub, well, to mount the quick release to the short hub, so we're money there. Thank the Lord. Fish the wires through the hub before you bolt the hub on. Have your grounding ring terminal on as well when you're fishing the wires through. Now we can go ahead and fasten the bolt back into the hub, then proceed from there before it rains, because it's, I don't know, it's Florida, dude. Who knows, it always, oh, it looks sunny outside, right? Yeah, who knows. On our quick release, all we have to do is plug this right here into the grounding ring right here. This plugs into that yellow, plugs into the green and yellow wire. Once you have that bolted up, just press everything against the short hub itself, and all you gotta do is bolt it down, brother. Look at that, I'm so proud of you, bro. I'm so proud of you.
look at that. Oh my goodness, man. We're coming a long way. I even managed to strip a bolt because I, hey, 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 bro. Now we have to work our quick release setup. So all we gotta do now is just, this goes like that, and then this goes into the back of the steering wheel. So you have your ground and you have your power. So I'm using a terminal to actually mount my ground to this. I cut off my ground piece, and I'm gonna use my wire stripper, strip it back, put this piece on it, and then I can just plug that into that. Look at that, bro. Modern day problems requires modern day solutions. Job well done. I'm gonna make honey. Dun, 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 dun. Steering wheel complete. I went to Ace Hardware, got some steering wheel bolts. But I'm thinking about ordering some Chasing J's. I kind of want the titanium look. Am I doing too much? Maybe. But guess what? When I hit that, boink, <laughs> boink, boink. <laughs> Noise. Now let's see if we did our cruise control properly. Plug in the car, hit cruise control. It illuminates on the cluster. We're good. Cruise control, baby. Bam. Steering wheel setup is complete. Oh, we got a new wheel in the car. Got that quick release setup, homie. So nice. And look at that. I beat the rain yet again. Zosh one, rain zero. So that is it for episode one, technically two, of the Honda Fit build series. We got a fresh brand new steering wheel using Momo parts, NRG parts, steering solutions, and your boy's brilliant mindset of figuring out how things work. <laughs> Bro, I'm so happy to get this build started for you guys and for myself. I cannot wait to transform this car. I have the wheels officially ordered. Tires should be ordered by tomorrow. Oh my God, I can't wait. This is gonna be the coolest build I think I've done in recent times. This is just going to be such a beautiful build and I'm so glad you guys are here to witness it. So be sure to click the subscribe button to stay up to date with everything. Follow your boy on the grams. Hell, even follow the Facebook page. Links down below to all my socials and all the fun jazz and where you can pick up all these parts as well. I'm actually gonna hold myself accountable and put in the description where I got all this stuff, okay? I promise. <laughs> oh, that is it, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Beautiful Momo steering wheel. This is not leather. This is like a, I don't know what material this is. This is like a pleather. I don't know what this is. I wish it was kind of like an Alcantara. I kind of want an Alcantara wheel, but for now, this will work. And it's a 320th small, which I prefer. But thank you guys for watching. I'll be sure to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Peace.